All right, so I wanted to do a quick video to show the progress up till now on my heater, heater meter version 4.3. Um, I bought the version 4.3 kit off of the website, which included the LCD board, the button board, and the main processor board. Um, and then I'm pairing that with a Raspberry Pi version A plus, and um, and then uh, one of the things that I chose to do was to buy, or actually uh, I just included in my order a misprinted case off of the website, and uh, because it was a misprint, it was free. I'm not too sure where the issues were because this one is actually. Uh, pretty, pretty good. I didn't see much that made me wish I had gotten a full print case. So that was something that was kind of neat. Uh, all the buttons and ports, or actually all the ports line up, and the buttons and the LCD. Um, my particularly my particular Raspi doesn't fill out um, these. Um, USB ports and Ethernet ports on this side um, just because uh, that's not the version that I got. Um, so uh, one of the things that I encountered um, that I know isn't going to be an issue for everybody but I wasn't paying close enough attention when I was uh, soldering. I did follow the instructions off the website and they were great but one of the things that I did was um, there are uh, signal MOSFETs, there are three of those on this main board and one on the LCD board, but um, these three are all the signal MOSFETs right down here, these three little uh, circular shaped devices with a little uh, flat side. And then this, this guy right here, which looks almost identical until you read the print on the side, is a 3.3 volt regulator. Well, I wasn't paying attention and I accidentally swapped that with this middle guy over here. And I completely soldered both devices onto the board and ended up having to unsolder, remove, and replace. And I had already cut off the leads and everything. So that was a bit of a pain and I thought maybe I had damaged something, uh, especially when it came time to put it all together. But um, just... Uh, you know, if you follow the instructions on the site, everything comes out basically just like this. Um, these are these two boards are hardwired together uh, via the pins here along this edge, and uh, it goes through that in pretty good detail on the site. And then this board mates with this board. two five pin connectors and of course I missed because I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time and do it one handed one and the other one and they just meet together like so <clears throat> and then that sits in the case and you have a nice little uh, catch right here that the LCD board sits underneath supports in there that support all the boards and everything so really well done uh, the, the 3d case design is excellent and then one of the things that wasn't very clear in the instructions but I found on the boards was this is a 40 pin header here but only a 26 pin socket down here so uh, looking at it with the probe input sockets on the left here, you just match up the leftmost pins, the left 26 most pins 
and then you're gonna have a bunch of pins and maybe a little difficult to see in this video but you're gonna have the remaining uh, 14 pins are not going to be installed or uh, they're not going to be connected. They're just going to be hanging out. Uh, you can't really see it. Just on the other side of that capacitor there. Um, they're just going to be hanging out in the open. So you just make those together like so. And then you can see from mine, uh, the Wi-Fi dongle sits inside here. Um, this is my 32 gig SD card and then uh, the ports here on the side of the, the heater meter, um, the audio jack, the HDMI, and the, the 5 volt uh, mini, mini uh, USB port, uh, they're covered up by the case actually. You would not be able to utilize those at all, even if you wanted to. So, um, when, you put the, when you put the case on, you can see those probe probe input jacks and the power input and uh, ethernet all line up perfectly. So when I powered mine up for the first time, uh, I got I got all basically no response from the heater meter side of things. And I was worried that I had damaged some components when soldering. So I went and read, read some of the forums and I uh, figured I'd give it a shot, so I just took all, I, I disassembled it, set the set the Rasp Pi off to the side, I disassembled this board from the other two boards, and I basically went through and every connection that I had soldered, I just went through with a hot soldering iron again, reflowed the solder, made sure, one of the things they said was make sure that the solder flows through to both sides of the board, not just one side, so if you can't see solder, on the opposite side of the board as well, making connection. You need to make sure of that. And as soon as I did that, made it back together, the board started responding. Um, the LCD um, showed the information, no probe, um, no pit probe found, and uh, I was a happy guy. So that's the build so far. I'm still waiting for my servo to come in the mail. Um, I have purchased and uh, and tested this as well. I, I purchased a, a keystone jack uh, for the blower motor and servo and I am going to uh, be receiving in the mail sometime this week the 3D printed case uh, from uh, a user that I can't think of his name right now but he has custom designed a, a 3D case. I'll give him credit after a while, but a 3D case for the blower and a servo. Oh, Roto Damper. Um, look him up on the forums, um, but uh, he has printed a 3D case for the blower and damper for me, and so I'll do another quick video when it's all assembled and, and uh, functional and kind of run you through everything at that point. All right.